You've ridden a bike for years, but do you know how it works? How can you balance so easily on two thin wheels? Most people credit the gyroscopic effect from the spinning wheels, but that's largely a myth. The real answer has puzzled physicists for a century, and it's a complex dance of forces far stranger than a simple gyroscope. Let's bust the gyroscope myth. The theory is that a spinning wheel resists tilting, holding you up. But if you lock a bike's handlebars straight, it falls over, no matter how fast the wheels spin. Scientists even built rideable bikes with counter-rotating wheels that cancel all gyroscopic forces. This proves the effect is real, but it's not what's keeping you balanced. So what is it? The biggest secret is the angled front fork, which creates the caster effect. Think of a shopping cart wheel. The contact point on the ground trails behind the pivot. Push the cart sideways and the wheel snaps into line. Your bike does the same thing. If the bike leans, the caster effect automatically steers the wheel back underneath you. It's a built-in self-correcting mechanism. The bike's geometry provides passive stability, but you provide the active balance with counter-steering. To turn right, you briefly steer left. This tiny, unconscious push makes the bike lean right, letting gravity guide you through the turn. You do this constantly. Every time you start to fall, you instinctively steer into the fall to bring the wheels back under you. Balancing is just constantly managing instability. This simple machine is a marvel of hidden physics. If you love discovering the science in daily life, think about subscribing. So, a bicycle stays upright through a system not a single force. It's a mix of geometry and skill. The caster effect provides self-stability, always trying to steer the bike upright. Meanwhile, you subconsciously counter-steer to catch every fall. The gyroscopic effect just smooths out the steering. A bike is stable because it's designed to fall and then steer itself back upright with your help. The next time you ride, remember you're not just pedaling, you're conducting a brilliant physics experiment.